Hello everybody, long time no hear or no see. Bart over here with the Polski Fiat Maluch 126P. Today a short video showing you how you can um, upgrade your headlights from the standard incandescent bulbs to LEDs. Um, so my lights on the Fiat were getting um, pretty dull. There has been water collecting in one of the headlights and also you know they are really dim i'll show you in a second what i mean by this as far as the uh the, the lights you know not being bright enough for modern standards so what i decided to do is replace them with leds and also replace the headlights themselves with uh with new so that uh hopefully both of those things will improve the the fiat visibility because safety is really important it's nice to be seen well and the car is very small so if it has dim lights and it's small it might be hard for others to see so this one on the left is the original one this is the upgraded one obviously not that much difference uh, but i'll show you um, how to make the swap and what's involved well first of all um, this is the old headlight you can see water inside of it already collecting and if you were to look from the from the inside is the uh, reflective element is kind of getting worn out so I purchased whoops I purchased new uh, headlights made by a Polish company called Vesem uh, they're made in Poland like God intended right over here so they're perfect for for the Fiat and these lights allow you to mount H4 um bulbs h4 it actually says r2 or h4 but you know r2 bulbs like this ones i don't think are really made in led so you have to have a headlight that accepts h4 okay um, so this is how it looks this is the new one you can see it's nice and shiny and this is uh this is what the back of it looks like Okay, so you can see it's got the receptacle, but there's no bulb in there. I'll talk about that in a second. And here are the bulbs that I bought, the LED bulbs. There are just the uh, H4 LEDs. You can see, just like that. They're nice. They don't have that fan, or I actually do have the fan, but it's integrated in there. But they didn't have the separate big fan like some of the older designs. So it looks looks pretty nice and compact. But I also decided to upgrade my parking lights this one is what the standard is this the, the light is actually called BA9S so if you look at these bulbs they're called BA9S and this is the uh, LED equivalent also BA9S I bought two of those to replace the in incandescent one so I'm gonna it's very straightforward you just uh, open this up here remove this and install the lights and uh, put it back together. It's hard for me to do this with one hand, so I'll pause it and I'll show you how I fitted those. All right, here's the uh, BA9S LED light fitted into the fixture. You just pushed it in like so. And then here's your um, H4 LED. The specifications of it, it has a th temperature of 6,500 kelvins and uh, it doesn't show the lumens here, but I'll show you just how it looks uh, in comparison. So this is how it looks fitted. It's important that this tab is on the top of the light and it won't actually, it shouldn't fit. Shouldn't fit the wrong way anyway. So this is how it should fit. And then we, we need to fit this protective boot on top of it so the moisture doesn't get in there because there's gaps in here. Okay, um, so this will seal it up. Here, here's how it all looks ready to install. You see, I put this in, this cutout meets here, it's fully sealed, and now the headlight is protected from moisture or water or anything like that getting inside and uh, condensing inside. And then this one is also insert it like so now let's go and see how we remove the other one and get this one installed and let's do a comparison I know it's probably I know it's probably going to be hard to see but here is the uh, just the parking light turned on 
and here is the, uh, the incandescent bulb. Uh, the difference is quite big. Here's the comparison of both the, 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 both the parking light and the main head light it turned on. Okay, so the difference, again, may not be very visible on the camera here. Um, and I purposely try to do it in a not, um, you know, dark conditions because in dark, of course, it'll be blindingly brighter. But you can kind of see the difference. This is the old um, main light and this is the upgraded. Let's see if we can see it on the reflection on the garage. You can see the difference. All right, now to remove this, well, first we have to take this enclosure off, I'm trying to do it with one hand. Might not be the best way to do this as I'm filming this. Then we disconnect this, and then we disconnect the parking parking light connectors. They're just plugged in there. And then we'll just pull this light out. I'll, I'll pause it and I'll do it. Just simply just pull it out. It might take a lot of force. You might want to push it with one hand on the other side protected with the other hand and just push it all out uh, and then just because it's just retained on these clips um, so um, just pr protect this light when you pull it out even though it's old one so it doesn't fly out and crash on the ground here it, how it looks removed one two and three pegs that are retaining the light there is none in my over here no, no no four posts just the three you can adjust of course the lights with the screws on the back mine are fine so I'm not gonna mess with it and the other one you just press in here's both of the lights extremely bright I mean and no pun intended but night and day difference <clears throat> and if for whatever reason that LED is not working correctly I'm talking about the parking LED you have to might, might have to swap out the polarity of the connectors because um, the LEDs are, they do have a plus and minus as opposed to re regular incandescent bulb. So just keep that in mind. But I'm extremely pleased. I'm waiting to get it test driven at night. But I think with these kind of lights, even though it may not look retro, it looks like a you know, modern uh, headlight system. The car will be a lot more visible now for others. And your alternator is not going to have to work as hard because the power requirements on these is a fraction of the... Of the old, uh, of the old uh, uh, lights, which were like 50 watts or something like that. So, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Please uh, send us your comments. Thank you for watching.